Let's see what we got here. This thing is dusty. It's made one trip from my childhood home to where I'm at now. And then it went to a closet in the basement. And I just came across it. So uh, not all my childhood figures, uh, just the ones that occupy this particular case, this Darth Vader collector's case. Um, and this was probably like circa 1980, 81, around the time Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, it's Empire Strikes Back right there. But you could fit something like 30 guys in here. IG-88. I have more than this. I, I'm pretty sure I got like a Tupperware full of maybe like another 20 or 30 uh, characters back home. Luke X-Wing. Pilot. This is Star Destroyer Commander. Uh, originally, he was called Death Squad Commander, but I guess that was a little bit of a controversial description for this guy, uh, especially for a toy marketed to a kid, you know, somewhere around four or five, six years old. So let's see here. Got the Jawa. This one is the uh, pretty much the common one with the cloth cape. There's a plastic cape version, kind of like Obi-Wan Kenobi here, that's much rarer, and it's like a big deal in the action figure, Star Wars action figure, vintage collecting. And pretty much all my lightsaber-carrying characters have the thing had come off. It was this little nub that you would kind of like use to pull this thing out, and it wasn't very st sturdy, and of course a lot of them broke. So there's the lightsaber action for for these guys back then. Um, I think it was in the Empire Strikes Back figures was where they had the standalone lightsabers for Luke where you actually could just take it and put it in his hand as opposed to being a part of the actual figure. Here's Lando. These are in relatively good shape considering um, this is the medical droid and I, I'm pretty sure I pulled all the arms off this guy. I mean, look at this thing. He had arms that would come out, little appendages or whatever that would kind of like snap out. Um, but yeah, I pulled them all off. Long ago, here's a walrus man in one of the um, cantina denizens. One of those characters. I have a couple. I actually is Snaggletooth. I owned Blue Snaggletooth. Um, it's a very rare figure. Uh, if you're into Star Wars figures, you know that. Um, it was a Sears uh, exclusive, and the blue Snaggletooth was a taller version than the subsequent release of the red one, which was shorter and movie accurate. And the reason why uh, there's a tall blue one is because the toy manufacturer didn't know what he was going to look like. Um, and so the figure, I guess, was produced before the movie. And then once the movie came out, Kenner went back and, and modified the figure to be shorter and more ac screen accurate. But... As a result, that blue one is pretty rare. And I had one. Um, I used to get, <clears throat> I mean, he came with like a, a cantina cardboard backdrop, which I did not have, but I got him in a pack of figures from Sears one Christmas. And then some neighborhood asshole bully stole it from me um, many, many years ago. Here's Leia in her Bespin gown. Looks like I got Luke Return of the Jedi in here, but he's not supposed to be in here. And I probably lost all the accessories. I do have a, here's a compartment for, I never ever closed, but this is like all the, all the guns and stuff in here, right? And I got quite a few and it's not bad. Some of these came in like a survival kit that I think I uh, ordered as a promotional thing, but these are all the blasters and weapons and things like that. You store in here. Um, I can never, it was never able to close even from day one. Boba Fett's very popular. Uh, let's see, Sand People, Tuscan Raider, oh boy, we got uh, Hammerhead, another cantina creature, not bad considering the, uh, the vintage, um, you know, later on, uh, many years later, 
I think it was what, and they stopped making figures after what, 1983, 84. Interest in Star Wars was kind of waning. Um, and then it was 12 years before we had Star Wars figures back in stores, uh, 1995, and I remember that. And honestly, at the time, it felt like forever um, from when Star Wars figures were last available to then. So it was like a 12-year period had passed, and it, and it felt like 100 years. But now today, like, was it 2022? When I think back to 2010, you know, 12 years ago, it feels like yesterday to me, you know? I guess that's what happens when you get old. This is Power Droid. Or gonk, droid, gonk, gonk. Uh, oh, yeah. So here's where I think it says Snaggletooth, but I have Yoda. So maybe Snaggletooth is. I mean, he's pretty much actually intact. They got all the accessories here. So Yoda. This says Han Solo, but it's. In fact, it looks like I'm missing Han Solo and Chewbacca. And I. Uh, you know what? Years ago, my nephew, I let him play with my old Star Wars toys, my old Kenner stuff, and he had the Millennium Falcon. I still have it. But I think he might have taken Han Solo and Chewbacca out of here. This is Bespin Han Solo with the uh, Navy jacket and pants. And then this is Bespin Security Force. There's a little bit of tackiness to these things, probably just from age. And This is Luke Bespin. And then here's the OG Luke, and as you can see, once again, the lightsaber is broken, sort of, the tip there. Yeah, I know there's sort of a tacky feel. It's probably some sort of toxicity that I'm being exposed to. Um, you know, 40, how old is this stuff now? 45 years old? Well, 40 to 45, depending on which film it was. Han Solo and Hoth gear. Princess Leia, discoloration here. Should be all white, but clearly it's not. I've got two C-3PO's tucked in here. I think one of these is the regular conventional, and then one I think has the, the pull-apart. Um, yeah, this one. You could take them apart, and then you put them in this black sack, <laughs> and uh, Chewbacca could carry him around just like in... Uh, the Empire Strikes Back there, and this is just the regular C-3PO. I got them both in the same compartment. <clears throat> oh, okay, here's R2-D2. I can get them out of there. Oh, this is R2-D2 with a sensor scope. <clears throat> so this thing pops out. So not the OG version, but the one that was released probably around like 1980, 81, after the Empire Strikes Back. There's that there. Here's a Stormtrooper, and I've got several of these, pretty sure of it. And, you know, they're, they're in a little eve, like basically, it's like behind the door in my bedroom at home, and, you know, in a dormer, it's a dormant area, not insulated. So they're exposed to the extreme temps and hots and colds of the year, so who knows what kind of condition they are in. Um, what that environment did to my G.I. Joe collection was cause the rubber bands to snap on the torsos, if you know what I'm talking about. They're, the top and bottom are held together with a rubber, rubber band, which can be replaced. But right now I've got a whole bunch of split torso G.I. Joe figures from the 80s in a bag at my old house, my parents' house, actually. By the way, this is Bosk, Dante Hunter. And... Um, Uh, Rebel Snow Soldier. I guess it's the right character for that. I thought there was like another one. But, uh. And here is Darth Vader. And again, with the broken lightsaber, although overall nice condition otherwise. Darth Vader. Greedo. Let me give him something here. These are all tangled up. I guess what did he used to? I guess it doesn't really matter. I think the common weapon for him was uh, this particular gun here. If I can get it out. Yeah, fit easily. Is this the right one? 
There you go. <clears throat> Una guta solo. Yeah, Greedo. As a matter of fact, I was just going to go see your boss. Tell Jabba I've got the money. Some pichale. Vertanti nocturn baki chita. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Not going to go through all that. <laughs> so Greedo and uh, yeah, Chewbacca is missing here. Is Death Star droid withered and worn. All the paint looks like it's come off. And then the last one for this case is Imperial Snowtrooper, which he had like a little thing that he'd wear. It clipped on. It was like one of those vinyl cape thingies, and of course it's gone. Anyway, so these are these are uh, the 30 or so characters uh, that were, I guess, designed, or this case was designed to hold, with a couple of exceptions I have here that don't belong. And, of course, I'm missing Han Solo and Chewbacca. Um, uh, that's it. That's my little uh, uh, look at my original uh, childhood partial collection of Star Wars vintage action figures. Some random hobby thoughts and uh, channel updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.